the Forty OT podcast. I know that there is like a, a, a really big like autism stereotype about autistic people being very, very good with maths and computer sciences. And it's something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. And I've been doing a little bit of digging into like the common interests that autistic people have. And it seems to be like a lot of us gravitate more towards the creative kind of fields, like whether it's fantasy, you know, writing, art, things like that. It's 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 been quite quite eye opening just how wrong the stereotypes have been. <laughs> yes. In fact, I attended a lecture or I guess it was more of a conversation recently with some people from I think Nokia Bell and Google, some female people in the like film world just talking about like changing stereotypes. And this was more specifically towards women mm. in film, mm. but in technology, women in, in technology or in the STEM fields, STEM fields and how they're portrayed or not portrayed in film and television and how we can change those stereotypes and um, more accurately represent how mm. women are in those fields. So I, I thought that was really cool. I had a, um, an interview in the first season of my podcast with this uh, guy called Reggie. R Reggie, Reggie Harold, Reggie Harold, something like that. And he's an actor and he does like a lot of theatre related things. And um, he was talking to me about, you know, I, I asked him, obviously, you know, have you, have you done any autistic roles? Do they just, you know, hand them out on a silver platter to you because you're autistic? And he was talking about it. and. He's a very handsome chap and he's very kind of, you know, very mainstream kind of stereotypical, attractive man. And a, a lot of the autistic characters that he would want to go for, they actually don't fit like his physicality. Like they, they have like this, I think it's called like typecasting, where they're looking for these kind of small, geeky kind of people, men usually, <laughs> to play autistic leads. And that's really concerning because it's 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 not only that there is this stereotype that's around, but it's actually being propagated by a lot of like the the media, like the people who are um, casting people for these roles. Yes, I, I agree with you. And how can we change that? I think through having writers actively writing in characters who are not just stereotypes, but having writers on the spectrum, I think is really important for Hollywood to be open to that. And I, th I think there is definitely more of a leaning or an awakening to that need. I I'm not sure how, how many people in the industry are, you know, actively working on implementing sure, that sure. i have i have seen a little bit i know that there's a actress called uh, chloe hayden who i i think it's it's a bit like heartbreak high that she was i, I didn't watch it i'm gonna be honest but uh, it's not really that my kind of thing drama things like that sure i'm more of the like the uh the cartoon kind of rick and morty type type of person I like depressing. I like to watch depressing things like like Black Mirror. That's what that's what really helps me relax in the evening. <laughs> oh, I love Black Mirror. That's the kind of stuff yeah. I write have too. You, have you watched uh, the latest season? Yes, and I've watched a bit. I watched a bit of it. I watched like the first three episodes. 